Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. In today's video, I'll be tearing down this Xiaomi instant water heater. This is a tap heater or a faucet heater where you can connect to a tap. And this device is very popular nowadays because it's winter and it can heat up your water uh, to very comfortable level. But you cannot expect it to be heating up to a very high temperature. It can heat up up to only around 40 or 41 degrees celsius based on your water flow so we need to check how is the build quality inside this because it should be safe uh, to use i have already installed and reviewed this product in detail in my previous video you can check it out before tearing it down we'll also test this uh, gfci or rcd protection device in order to install this device you should have a proper earthing otherwise it's it is not safe what you have to do is when you power on the the protection device press this test button when you press the test button if the power cuts off then it is safe and you can install the device otherwise uh, you need to check the ground connection or the earth connection and you have to press this test button again so let's test it now so it cuts off the power so that is good you can reset it by pressing this button and you can test it again you can do this process before installation if you don't find that this is not going to cut off the power then you should test your connection as i already mentioned before you should not use this kind of an adapter maybe it's better to uh, buy a very high quality one or maybe you can directly power uh, the cable to your country's protection device okay now let's try to tear down this device i think this part comes off So now you can see the heating element here so this is a protected heating element that is good in some of the Chinese products the heating element is not protected it is bare heating coils and but in this case there is an insulation over the heating element and it's good as you can see okay and then we can also see this comes out so you can clean this nozzles the outlet nozzles if there is any blockages then you can clean it and the cool water outlet can also be cleaned by taking it out so as you can see it can come out and you can clean these nozzles so you can also clean this part this will come out okay like this so sometimes you need to take it out because there is a reset button here the reset is when there is any over temperature situation or over pressure situation because of boiling water and so on because sometimes the outlet may be blocked or some malfunction happens then this reset will pop out so you need to press it in to make the device work again but before doing that you should check all the other parameters by cleaning and seeing for any blockages and so on so you can press this button to make it work if it stops working so that is the thing now let's take out the screws so this is looking quite good so far this is the reset button the power comes in here and it goes through a switch this switch is controlled by the water pressure so it turns on only when the water pressure is on and then there is earthing connections and there is a circuitry for the temperature sensor and there is also temperature sensing probes going into the heater and the thing that i want to check now is uh, the resistance of the coil because uh, uh, as per the ratings this this device is supposed to be 3000 watts at 220 volts so now we can check whether that is true or not by using this meter so it's in the resistance mode so it's going to check the resistance let's check the resistance now so it's showing 16.6 .6 ohms so if it is 16.6 ohms this device at 220 volts will be around 2900 something watts so that is quite close to the rated capacity so that is good let's tear it down further there are very nice cutouts for the wires to go through so this comes out so this is the main switch that cuts off the power when you close the tap you okay, see this is the switch this switch is very nice in this case they are using a switch that can only be turned on or off there is no in between 
so but in some of the cases that i have seen before there can be some problem where the switch contacts are not uh, touched properly when the pressure is not enough but in this case it can only be turned on or off because they are using this particular switch and it is rated at 16 amps so this is quite good and we can check the continuity let's check the continuity so this is not connected now but when the switch is on so it's connected quite nice so there is no in between so that's quite good let's go further so this is the mechanism that controls the water flow so when you turn the a tap you can see that it will go to the hot or cold water so the channel is here so this is the hot channel so it goes through the hot and the cold channels so this is a ceramic valve that they have used in conjunction with the rubber gasket it's quite good so the water channel is here the input and the output channels to the hot and cold water channels so they have very nice wire restaurants here and the earth connection is connected to most of the parts so as we can see down there there is the safety uh, switch where it's going to cut off the power if the temperature rises above a certain level so there must be a fuse temperature fuse there kind of resettable temperature fuse there so that's quite good because uh, you can reset it otherwise if it is not resettable then once that fuse is blown then you cannot use the device anymore so this is quite good build quality they have used very nice components the heater element is of uh, the correct rating of around 3000 watts so the circuitry for the display is using a capacitive dropper with a temperature probe the temperature probe is going into the heater as you can see here it's i think it's not uh, possible to remove it without the destructive force so let's keep it there so i quite like the build quality of this heater uh, it's not like the other chinese type heaters that i have seen they have really good quality control of the xiaomi ecosystem products so this is quite good now let's tear down this uh, device the protection device and see what is there inside these are the connections that we made before in my review this is the protection device so they have a, a current sensor here as you can see so the actual cutoff mechanism is uh, a physical switch here so when the leakage current is more than 10 milliamps it's going to cut off the physical switch here so and it cuts off power to both the live and neutral as you can see here the cutoff mechanism is for both the channels the build quality is quite good it has a current sensing coil uh, it's going to sense the the amount of current going into the live and coming back from the neutral and if the, it doesn't match because of some leakage then the circuit is going to break that is the usual rcd or gfci circuit and here in this case it's a 10 milliamp rating and so that's it for today thank you for watching and please consider subscribing i'll see you next time